Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something special for you guys. So if you guys already follow me and been watching my last couple videos, you guys know that I usually use two monitors for my setup. The first one is the BenQ RL 2755 monitor and I use this one for all my PS4 gaming because it has a one millisecond response time and it has a refresh rate of 60 Hertz. So it maximizes the potential of my PS4. If I'm not using it for PS4 gaming, then I'll use it to surf the web or as a secondary monitor for my video editing. My second monitor is from AOC, but this is a very old monitor that I don't even know the specs for, but I found this in my garage a while back and I was like, you know what? I need a second monitor. Let me just use this one for now. So this is what I use for all my video editing needs and my stream information page. But today, all of that is gonna change because now we're gonna introduce the super ultra wide curved monitor. Well, it's a bit stretched. All right, let's see um, how quick I can die or if I die, maybe, I mean, maybe this is the way to go. You just need to have a stretch monitor so you could um, appeal to the, uh... yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. Yeah, I can't see anything here. I mean, the real benefit I have with the BenQ is that it had a one millisecond response time. This one is advertised to have a five millisecond response time. So, I mean, it could be the same. I mean, five milliseconds is very small but I don't think games are meant to be played like this. Maybe I have to change this to gaming mode. Let me see if they have a setting for that. I mean, if I really wanted to get the full potential of this monitor, my best bet is to start PC gaming because with PC gaming, most of the games, they support this type of aspect ratio and you can actually get an increased field of view like in PUBG, Fortnite, games like that. So it actually benefits you to have a monitor like this. Well, let me see how it looks for normal desktop operations. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at how much space I have here. Look how many icons I could possibly fit in this page. I mean, it's about a little bit of overkill. Wow, editing is gonna be so much easier with this. I mean, look how much space I have on the timeline alone. I mean, I won't even have to zoom out, zoom in, and all, all that as much as I normally have to. I gotta check out my YouTube page. See how this looks. Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, it's a bit of overkill. I mean, on one end, it's like you have so much space. And then on the other end, everything just looks like um, super stretched. You know, in case you're wondering why people would buy this in the first place, you have to think about it like this. A normal monitor has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. This one has an aspect ratio of 32 by 9. So technically speaking, it's two regular size monitors put together without the bezel in the middle and without the extra cables in the back. So you do have a plus in that sense. Oh look, there you go. So it's like having two screens put together. This actually works out. I can play on this side and have my stream information on this side and this is all on one monitor well guys thank you for watching this video it's been a pleasure let me know what you think about this super ultra wide monitor and if you would use it for your setup i mean i might go back but honestly with the option of having two completely different displays on one single monitor that's actually pretty beneficial to me and i mean it makes my my setup look a lot more cleaner so i mean it might actually be something i use in the future guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to press that like button and subscribe for more content just like this i did drop a link in the description below in case you want to buy a monitor like this but once again you might be better off going for something that's just a 16 by 9 aspect ratio but guys thanks once again for watching my name is matthew Peace out.